What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. And today I'm going to be taking a look at Winter Felix, our newest Tempest Trial unit. So this is going to be a comprehensive analysis and review of him and I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of builds and if you should invest into him with your Heroic Grails or not. And if you're new here, then please consider subscribing because I make a lot of fake content, reviews, summoning sessions, guides and many more. We are really close to 340,000 subscribers so every bit of support definitely helps a lot. And with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy and let us begin. Smirk at this outfit and I'll run you through. Felix is a 180 BST blue armor archer and he comes with reindeer bow as his weapon. So this is an inheritable weapon which gives him plus 5 attack and defense during the combat and also the guard effect on the foe if he's within 2 spaces of an ally. It's a very easy condition to meet for any kind of unit, especially an armor unit who does have one movement. As for his stat spread, he does have pretty good attack stat at 38 and he's a rare fast armor unit with base 37 speed. Now base 37 speed isn't really the highest in this kind of environment in the game but for an armor unit, it's definitely pretty good. And he does have quite workable bulk at 32 defense and 29 resistance. So overall he's a pretty balanced unit that can work in both phases because of his offenses and because of his workable bulk. He does come with Sparrow 2 which goes with his playstyle. It's a 5 star lock skill unfortunately and Del range is available at 4 star. So he doesn't really have the best fodder to be honest unless you spend 20,000 feathers. He doesn't really have too many comparisons because the only other blue armor archer that we've got is Halloween Niles and uh, Winter Felix just blows Niles out of the water. He's just a better unit except for the fact that Niles is just faster by 2 speed points but it doesn't really matter that much because Felix has got just much better stat allocation. So as for free to play comparisons, the closest comparison we can draw is between him and George. Both of these are blue archers. Now keep in mind. George is an infantry unit and Felix is an armor unit so there is the difference between the movement types which means that Felix has got access to the exclusive armor skills but he also has the poor one movement and the armor weakness to the armor effective weapons. George on the other hand does have infantry movement and he also has access to the lull skills and stuff like sturdy impact, time pulse, all of those infantry only skills. And both of these will pretty much have similar bulk because of the attack debuff which they could get out of their weapons. Um, for Felix, he is going to be hitting harder because of Spendthrift Bow if you're running that on him. Which is going to be his best weapon pretty much. But Felix is much much faster than George and can function in both phases. George can speed stack but he cannot really get as fast as Felix. And when it comes to arena scoring, Felix is going to be the better arena score stick. Felix doesn't really have any kind of super boon but when it comes to max investment then plus speed IV is going to be his best IV to go for because he is a pretty fast armor unit and that is rare so might as well capitalize on that. As much as I hate this frivolous festival, I don't hate seeing you smile. Felix is going to be requiring 2700 grails to plus 10 merch because he's a Tempest Trial unit. He's not going to be getting a rerun like Grand Hero Battle units so the grail cost is definitely on the higher side. He's overall a pretty good free to play unit with solid stat spread and he can work in both phases because of this and he's a really good arena scoring option for free to play players. We don't really have many good 180 BST scoring blue units that are easily available and um, Winter Hilda is basically one of them which came with this update but she does require orbs and you need to get lucky to get enough copies of her. Meanwhile Winter Felix is gonna be a great unit. Unlike many armor units, Felix isn't completely shut down hard by null follow up which is a really common skill in the metagame because he doesn't really rely on the auto follow up skills to double because he's naturally fast so that's one benefit of having higher speed as an armor unit. Felix by default has got 180 BST so unlike many of the free to play units who need a trade fruit to reach 180 BST scoring, he doesn't really need that so you could save your trade fruits if that's something you care about. Now there are definitely a couple of reasons why you may not want to invest into him. Now because of being an armor unit, anyone who has ever used an armor unit in arena will tell you that it can definitely be a big pain because of the poor one movement and you will have to run some kind of armor unit who can run armor march along with him or you want to run a flying unit who can provide the guidance or the ground orders support to him because the movement is definitely going to be a big pain and you cannot run armored boots in arena because that's a very low scoring sacred seal. Also, there are a lot of armor effective weapons and units, namely Legendary Chrom, who is going to be a big, big pain. 
Max investment Legendary Chrome can still one shot Felix, which is definitely gonna be pretty annoying. And there are just a lot of bad matchups he can face in like fire and water season with stuff like Legendary Edelgard and also a lot of brave Edelgards that you might see. So he's not really gonna be able to do much damage to those green armor units. So if you want to use him in arena, then you would have to use some proper teammates who can provide the support and cover the bad matchups for him. Because otherwise, it's going to be a really, really painful experience. And arena as it is, is increasing uh, when it comes to suffering. So just make sure to have that. Otherwise, he's a really good score stick. He is a competent unit. He can deal with a lot of red units and blue units himself. But it's just those bad matchups and the armor movement that you have to work with. Overall, Winter Felix is a pretty solid free-to-play unit that we have got, who can score high in Arena, who has got a pretty nice stat spread that can make him function in both phases, and he's also quite versatile when it comes to his builds, as you'll see later on. Not to mention, he's a very, very popular character and a fan favorite, so I can definitely see him being a very popular merch project. Do I look merry? Felix is a bonus unit in the current Tempest Trial, and he's the only free to play unit that we have got, so the super budget build with armored boots could be run. And Desperation at low investment is also a pretty nice option for a slot B. And you could also use him as an arena assault unit with either Swordbreaker or Lancebreaker. And the fact that Ranger Bow has got the conditional guard effect that can really help you in arena assault against those units who have got special accelerating skills and weapons. So there he can definitely provide you with some utility. Now these are not exactly super budget builds, but they are still pretty accessible. Even follow up from Winter Hilda could also be used on him. Winter Hilda is a 4 star focus unit, and even follow up is a skill which just got at 4 star. So you will not have to spend any kind of feathers. And even follow up can basically allow you to double faster units, and also not get doubled by those said faster units if they don't have null follow up. And also prevent doubles from slower units who might have auto follow up skills. So even follow up is actually a pretty decent skill which you could get from a 4 star unit. Now even though Bullfighter is a 5 star locked skill, it is just present on like 6 million units. So I think many people do have Bullfighter fodder lying around in their barracks. And Felix can definitely make good use of that because he could run a Brave Bow and Bullfighter build. The good old quad. Uh, bold build which you could run on any kind of armor unit so he's gonna be able to quad attack so even though he has got high speed unfortunately you know it's not really getting used here except for getting through like weary fighter and stuff of slower units so bold fighter is gonna be there for the special acceleration to trigger ignis and he can definitely be a pretty powerful unit even on low merges Felix is fast, but that low investment, he's not going to be able to double many of the faster units, so Bold Fighter can definitely help him with that, and you could run a special like Luna. And now we move on to some max investment builds. So the first build is basically overall the perfect build for Felix because it just makes use of all of his stats, his bulk, his speed, everything. Spent Thrift Bow is the best bow in the game and it's his best weapon overall. So that could be run with close file special fighter and special fighter could be used with a two turn special like noontime, moonbow or raptured sky or even glimmer if you want to. So all of those options are good for him and just have armor march as a sacred seal or slot C. and this is pretty much overall going to be the best build you could have on a max investment felix. So many people are going to be aiming for this build. If you don't want to use spendthrift bow then you could also use slaying bow with a three turn special like soul bonfire luna and that could work out with a close counter special fighter build. Special fighter is in general a pretty good skill for him because he can function in both phases and special fighter does give you the special acceleration in both phases so that's why it's the ideal slot B skill for him and it's in general a very good skill on faster armor units. Ranger bow and special fighter do get a bit redundant with their guard effect so if you don't want to run that then you could also run special spiral along with bonfire so that he could retaliate back with bonfires and then mystic boost could be used as the new sacred seal for some self sustain. There are not many armor units who can make use of daring fighter from duo marth. Felix is one of those rare armor units who can do that because of his high speed. So attack speed push 4 does have good synergy with daring fighters threshold condition and daring fighter does allow you to break through those weary fighter armor units or against the skills which do stop your follow up attacks. So that is really great and you can also use something like deadeye because the damage output from this build is going to be pretty high so deadeye could be used to just pierce through those damage reduction skills. He can also use coral bow with attack defense unity or any kind of unity skill in general. Whenever we get attack speed unity that is definitely going to be an option for him. 
So Coral Bow can give him the speed and defense debuff on the foe and it can also help support his allies. So that can be a really powerful thing because as an armor unit he doesn't really have access to the usual debuffs from the lull skills. So this is at least some debuffs that he could get access to. And he can also utilize Special Fighter and Ignis for a very devastating special and again Mystic Boost could be used for self-sustain. And now let's talk about the arena builds. So as I said before, he's a 1 ATPST arena unit and many people are going to be building him up for that purpose. And the first build with Ruptured Sky and Close Counter Special Fighter is basically going to be his best build. Now Close Foil is decent but you're going to be facing a lot of dragons and he can deal with many of dragons so that's why Close Counter is better when it comes to arena. With Special Fighter he's going to be able to retaliate back with Ruptured Skies against those high attack units and that can do a lot of damage. Spendthrift Bow, as I said, is his best weapon, so that is going to be giving you a lot of damage output and also a lot of bulk, which is definitely needed in something like Arena, where you are going to be facing these whale units. Because he doesn't have a preferred weapon, he will also require a 300 SP slotty skill in order to have the max Arena scoring. So Joint Drive skills and Tier 4 Threaten skills are pretty good options with them, and you could run Slaying Bow and Blue Flame. This is definitely not going to be giving you as much bulk and damage output as the Spendthrift Bow build, but if you want to experiment with this and you don't have Spendthrift Bow, then this could definitely be an option. If you just want to rock his Reindeer Bow, then that could definitely work out, but as I said before, it is going to be a bit redundant with Special Fighter, because both of these skills already have the Guard effect. But still nonetheless it is going to be giving him the special acceleration in both phases and that could help with a high cooldown special like Aether. Felix is not the most ideal unit you could use in Aether Raid's offense because he has got the armor weakness so whenever you face Micaiahs and stuff like that, Ledger and Kroms, it is going to be annoying and he also has one movement which can be definitely troublesome when trying to reach for pots and stuff but still with enough support he can definitely work out in Aether Raid's offense. In Light Season, he can have the Otter's buff from Peony and Milak can provide you the extra one turn which could be helpful in reaching the pots. So the first build is definitely going to be the way how you deal with Bramimond. If you want to tank in Light Season, you gotta make sure that you can deal with Bramimond. So our tech here is going to be to use even follow up because he is an armor unit, he doesn't have access to null follow up. So this is pretty much the next best option to prevent the double from Bramimond and uh, that can really help you on the even number turns. So ideally, you want to go in turn 2 and bait out the enemy. Even follow up on a fast armor unit like him is basically going to be functioning as a pseudo null follow up. It's not really going to be as powerful as the actual null follow up of course, but this is the closest thing an armor unit can have, especially when they're fast. So you can break through impact skills, stuff that is there to prevent your doubles, and you can also stop the doubles of auto follow up units like Bramimond which is going to be coming into the play in Light Season a lot. Now you could also run the Special Fighter Close Foil. Now you could also run the Special Fighter Noontime build if you don't want to have any kind of uh, support unit like Brave Lucina. So you could just retaliate back with Noontimes and heal himself up. But I would definitely prefer the first build over this in the Light Season because the first build can deal with Bramimond. Here you're still going to be getting doubled by Bramimond. If it's a pre-charged Bramimond then you could pulse smoke him down and then he's not going to be able to charge up his special with Special Fighter, but still you will get doubled. In the Astro Season, you would definitely have to focus on speed stacking on Felix to make sure that he can deal with Thrasir. Thrasir is a threat and she does have the Weapon Strangle advantage, but she can be dealt with as long as you can speed stack. Something like Slick Fighter can be a really odd thing to witness on an armor unit like him who is so fast, but trust me, this is going to be helping you so so much for breaking through stuff like impact skills and skills which can stop your follow up attacks. And that is just so good along with his high speed. Now in slot, instead of running close foil, you want to run a tier 4 stand skill that can give you speed. That is going to be much much important because you want to speed stack for Thrasir. And in general, Aether Raids is a place where you're going to be facing more range units than melee range units. So. Close Fall isn't the most important thing in my opinion for Slot A, so you could go with the tier 4 stand skill. And Slick Fighter also has the benefit of completely ignoring the penalties on a unit, so that could work out and you don't really have to bother about chill soaking uh, with your support unit or with your mythics. So that's another usage of Slick Fighter and that can help him so much. And again, Brave Lucina support is going to be helping a lot with the noontime healing. 
Last but not least, he could also be used in Ether Raid's defense and he can actually be a really really annoying unit to face because of his high bulk and if you've got a good build on him. Spendthrift Bow, again, <laughs> I'm mentioning this so many times but really, I cannot stress it enough how good of a weapon it is. And uh, it is gonna be a very good weapon to make it very annoying for your opponents and he could easily stack it up with ARD defense stress and that can pretty much give him 17 bulk to both of his defenses which is going to be making him so much bulky and you could run both fighter with moonbow and armor boots to basically um, just trigger moonbow and have better movement and you could also use him as a frontliner with a close fault special fighter if you have already inherited that on him he can definitely be a pretty annoying unit for many units especially like Regan and legendary leaf and stuff so they're not going to be able to charge their specials but keep in mind bolt tower is going to be a problem so something like duma can help him with like armor movement with armor march or you could also have mirapolis with the ground order support so that could definitely help him move around and overall he's just a very very tanky unit and you could also use him with budding bow plus and dead eye so with this build um you could have the impact effect with budding bow and even though he's a fast unit, we're still running Bolt Fighter because it's really, really easy for people to stack up speed on offense. And you're definitely going to be facing many of the like sword tanks who can reach above 60 speed. So Bolt Fighter is going to be helping you against them. And you could basically maximize your attack with either Deadblow 4 or an ARD skill. And Deadeye can definitely help you pierce through some of those uh, annoying damage reduction skills. And Panic Smoke can be easily applied because Budding Bow is going to be making him pretty bulky. So overall he could definitely be a pretty big nuisance to face as an enemy because of how ridiculously bulky and fast he can get so it can be really really frustrating to deal with him and Duma can break like bolt tower and also provide him the armor mart support and Mirapolis can provide the ground order support so it is definitely possible to make a team around him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth review. Please be sure to share this video with your friends who are thinking of building a Felix or are big Felix fans. They can definitely find a lot of build options in this video. And I want to thank all of my YouTube members for their constant support. If you enjoyed then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Because YouTube sub boxes are also a type of armor unit but sadly they are not as fast as Felix. So with that said I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.